It all started a couple of weeks ago. Six bikers showing their hometown through the lenses of their action cameras. Sharing what the streets of Mumbai have to offer us and sometimes what we have to offer the streets of Mumbai. Some seeking a higher purpose. Others, well, popping wheelies in front of cops. Some warning others about the dangers of speeding. Others riding with dinosaurs. Some waiting for the lights to go green to get back in the race on our busy streets. Some preparing themselves for that road rage incident which seems inevitable. Others just goofing around on one of their many weekend adventures. Here's what happened when these bikers got together. The video you're about to watch is the result of hours of goofing around and minutes of planning. Here's our journey to Kelva Beach. So we have Buff Moto here. Yep. Okay, Buff Moto, I've got three questions for you. First question, what made you start motor vlogging? Uh, I was always into vlogging from the time of my school and at that time we YouTube was not there as such. You know, nobody used to upload that thing. And then I started watching other motor vloggers. I was searching for bike videos, I started seeing motor vloggers and I thought that's a good idea. I got my own bike and I just started right away. Okay, Bill, and you currently ride what bike? I ride a Duke 390, which I have okay. customized myself. Perfect. Uh, what would be your dream bike though? My dream bike, I would say for all riding comfort, ZX10R, the 2016 one. 2016 ZX10, okay. Yeah. Now, the main question. I can see obviously you're into fitness and bodybuilding. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no need to show off, no need to show off. <laughs> and if, uh, if you had the choice of either owning a 2016 ZX10R, or having the body of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, what would you choose? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Any reason why? Because if I have that, I can eventually get myself a bike. Ah, well played, okay. Nice. Thank you, Buff Moto. Thank you, man. So we now have with us another motor vlogger from Mumbai and his name is? Uh, my name is Araya D'Souza but my channel name is by Arid. So it's A-R-I apostrophe D. Okay, great. So I'll put a link in the description for his video as well. <laughs> Brian, stop photobombing. <laughs> okay, uh, so I have uh, similarly two, three questions for you as well. First one being, um, what would be your dream bike if you could choose any one? Uh, there are many actually but uh, I would go for the Z1000. Z1000, okay. Next um, question is, what made you get into motor vlogging? Uh, actually, uh, I was uh, stumbling across YouTube a day and I saw these US bikers who were talking on the, on the cams and all that. So, one channel led to another. I got to know many other people do this for a living as well. Okay. And kind of got me interested in then I realized that there are Indian people as well doing it and since I ride a bike thought why not give it a try so okay just give it a shot great and, and we know most of your videos are about touring and stuff like that so last question is if you had one destination in the world which you could ride to and probably do a, a motor vlog there which uh, destination would that be without any doubt Swiss Alps okay any reason why uh, the climate is kick-ass over there plus the roads are butter smooth and too much chickens and curves so Best okay, perfect. Thanks a lot.
Okay, so we have our next motor vlogger here now with us from Mumbai. His name is Chasing Nirvana. Hi. Okay, uh, Chasing Nirvana, what bike do you ride? I ride a classic 500, all MC. Okay, brilliant. So you're one of the few guys, I think, I've only seen someone named Retro 93 or 95 yep. who he rides a Thunderbird. Thunderbird as well. Okay, great. Uh, three questions. First question is, what's the hardest part about motor vlogging for you? Uh, it's to keep the viewers entertained. Okay. That's keep the most hardest part. And do you have any trick which has worked for you so far? Uh, I'm exploring. Okay. I have to work it out. Okay, great. Second question, I've asked the other guys this. What's your f dream bike? Uh, it's the Triumph Rocket 3. Oh, so you're still staying with the Cruiser family? Cruiser, yeah. Okay. I'm much of a Cruiser guy. Brilliant. And lastly, since you love touring so much, if you had one destination in the world which you could go to and ride your bike and possibly record a video on it, uh, what destination would that be? That would be Salt Lake, Utah. Salt Lake in Utah. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Chasing Nirvana. Anything you want to say to the subscribers? Uh, it's been a brilliant day. Uh, please check out my channel uh, and if you like it, do subscribe. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we now have Captain Claw. Hi. What's the message which you want to pass through your channel? So the message is that uh, you should always wear uh, minimum protective gear because in a country like India, you never know what can come in your way. So it's always better to be safe than sorry. Okay. So I would recommend everybody to at least wear a helmet and if possible uh, wear the other protective gear like gloves, jacket and riding pants, uh, thong, everything, everything you can buy, it's always less. So okay. you should always try and get more and more safety towards yourself. Okay, perfect. Um, next question is, if you had one bike in this world which you could own, what would that bike be? Uh, the Yamaha R1M. R1M? Yeah. You're a Rossi fan? No, no. I'm Lorenzo? I'm not GP, but okay. fast bikes. Okay, perfect. Alright, so thank you so much, Captain Claw. Any message you want to leave for the subscribers? Uh, yeah, sure. So, that's the message. You should always try and wear more and more safety gear. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, our next vlogger now is uh, Nitin MBB. Hi. Nitin, three questions for you as well. Uh, first question is, um, I know your channel has a lot of daily observations and stuff like that. Uh, what inspired you to have a channel with all of those kind of videos? I started watching first Do It With Dan, then I got to the Walter Epic channel. Then I got inspired by Walter Epic as he has nice editing skills and he do daily stuff and troll people around. So I liked that. So I tried that to do in Indian style and currently doing that only. Okay, perfect. And besides that, you've got a lot of unboxing videos and reviews and stuff as yes, well, right? It's only about my camera gears and uh, other stuff of cameras and other cinematic stuff that I like to show you guys. That's why I put those videos of okay. unboxing and cinematic views. Yeah, I remember seeing a video of yours as well which showed how to motovlog on a budget as well, right? Using a belt yes, in your cell phone. I have done that uh, motovlogging with a mobile phone. That was pretty nice, but after getting a good quality cam, it's better to use a GoPro or a Xiaomi or a SJ than a mobile phone. Okay. For start, it's good to use a mobile phone for 5-6 videos, after that you need to upgrade. Okay, great. So, second question is, uh, if you had any bike in this world which you could pick, which, would that, which bike would that be? I will pick BMW HP4. I don't know why I like it, but as I look at her, it's like built for me, I think. That's okay. why I like it. Okay, German engineering, I guess. Okay. And uh, finally, I, I know you do a lot of uh, observations on how the traffic on our, on our streets isn't that great. If India could mimic one country in terms of the traffic rules uh, and the way people follow them as well, which country would you want India to be like? They, I think I would like to... They, we, we need to like, be like England because there are strict uh, traffic laws, uh, there is no lane splitting or kind of that. 
everyone is responsible the car guys the bike guys everyone is looking here and there for each other in india there is like everyone is going past and doing their stuff only not thinking about others okay uh, that's why we do rights like right for safety rto rights that's why we are developing india so that we can build it like that in the future okay, okay. and any last message you want to pass on to your subscribers be happy stay subscribe be entertained okay thanks okay so the next um, motor vlogger from mumbai we have is storm biker storm biker say hi hi okay storm biker uh, what made you get into motor vlogging uh, as a biker i want to share my experience with the world you know also okay like i don't know motor vlogging. right and we know a lot happens on mumbai street so it's pretty easy to capture a lot of funny stuff here yeah, yeah. uh second question is if there's one motorcycle in this world which you could own what motorcycle would that be that's Honda 1000 RS CBR 1000 right okay the, the, the Repsol edition you said in yeah that's specific okay and um, finally we know your Benelli sounds brilliant but if there's any other bike you could choose just purely because of the sound it makes on the exhaust what bike would that be i would choose r1 the r1 is it the new one or the the outgoing model new one the r1m right r1 okay bill and any last message you want to pass on to your subscribers you to both my video you keep subscribe okay thank you so much so michael okay so next up we have rough rider rough rider blow some smoke or say hi <laughs> okay so three questions for you as well why did you start your channel why did i start my channel uh, i always wanted a gopro so i just thought that i am a biker i do trips and everything so why not let the people see the uh, things from my view okay yeah great uh, what is what is your dream bike if you had one bike to oh, i have many dream bikes but i really like the 2015 r1m R1M, ah, huh? yeah. Okay, you got a lot of fans for the R1M, I think. Yes. Finally, you capture funny stuff which happens on the road. Uh, you have videos with Speedy as well. Uh, you obviously had some incidents happen before you owned a GoPro and before you could upload those videos on YouTube. Is there any one incident which stands out as Actually, really funny? Uh, there was one incident. Uh, I did have my GoPro during that time, but I wasn't recording. So uh, while cornering, I did fell on my bike once. because the guy ahead of me misses the corner he down shifted twice overtook him and i took the fall okay so i really regret not capturing that moment <laughs> okay all right and is there any last message you want to leave for your fans before we end this oh you guys are awesome and please subscribe to me okay Great. thanks guys i'm with one of my subscribers his name is atharva mm -hmm. and he's from boisar uh he traveled some 30 kilometers i think by scooter to come here and meet me i can't imagine anyone who do that besides my fiance but thank you so much atharva for coming this far and for making this day even more special